Hey guys, welcome to an extra special part of LGPY that is going to be incredibly hard on my computer. I'm going to trade. So as you can see I've got a copy of silver on the left, and yes it is an Italian silver. Um, I'll explain this in depth in the description, um, because an English gold was not working for me. And I've got a copy of yellow on the right, and it's not the copy of yellow that I'm using for the rest of my LGBTI series. This is a different one, because the copy that I'm using for LGPY is being stupid. So now, I'm going to trade here. A red Gyarados for a Spiro. And oh my god, my frame rate is of crap. Will be traded, yes. Quite happy with that. So yes, Italian silver on the left here. And Pokemon Yellow on the right here. Oh my god. So much no frame rate it hurts. <laughs> with turbo I almost have normal frame rate. Yeah, okay, send the spear over here to the silver. Okay, excellent. Now he's sending over the red Gyarados to my yellow. And you'll see why this is useful in just a sec. Now the Gyarados will be blue because of course shinies don't exist in yellow. Okay. Waiting. Trade complete. Excellent. Okay. Now, we're going to want to leave. So cancel out of both trading sessions. Uh. Uh. Leave. And as for Generation 1, um, we'll just have to open up a new copy of Yellow. Because you can't actually leave the trading room from Yellow. It's kind of stupid, but whatever. So much lag, oh my goodness. Okay. Now, we do have a Gyarados, and what the heck did I make start in this? Oh, okay, fair enough. No, not fair enough. Start will be... oh, okay. Okay, excellent. Sorry about the lag, it's kind of annoying me too, but it's necessary. Okay, so now this Gyarados that we have, we're going to be teaching it TM31. You need to teach it Mimic. Remember that this Gyarados is shiny, okay? This is important. Jesus God. I'm trying to learn Mimic, but Gyarados can't learn more than four moves. Delete an older move to make room for Mimic. Yes. I'll get... It doesn't matter which one you get rid of. Just get rid of one of them. Ah. Uh, my God. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Okay. Once the Gyarados knows Mimic, go back into the trading room. This is kind of ridiculous, but oh well. The frame rate's almost normal if I use turbo. <laughs> it still isn't quite, but oh my god, that's just ridiculous. Now we're going to want to make the same trade back. Okay. Now. You go up here, you turn right. Spam! 
just a moment. Okay. Trade the Gyarados. Meanwhile, you trade the Spiro. Okay. And trade. Oh my god, this is insane. Holy crap. Okay, yes. Okay, now we're making the same trade back. So basically what we've done was we've taught um, the Gyarados Mimic in yellow. This is turbo, by the way. This is turbo speed. <laughs> and it's still not quite normal frame rate. Oh my god, that's embarrassing. But yeah, you guys will be amazed at what I can do. Um, this, by the way, is going to be a glitch that I discovered myself for part 14. And I think it'll impress you guys quite a lot. Yeah, no, really. Okay. Okay, the Gyarados is now back to where it belongs. So for now, we'll close yellow. And play silver only. Now, in silver, we've got, um, let's see, so we've got a Gyarados here. And now we're going to need to go to Blackthorn City if I'm not already there, which I don't think I am. This lag is going to be the end of me. Okay. At least it's not as bad now. Fly to Blackthorn. And go to the move to leader's house. Okay. Get rid of all moves except for Mimic. Now we've got a Gyarados that knows only one move, and that move is Mimic. At this point, we're going to trade it back to yellow version. So you can prepare for gratuitous amounts of lag again. <laughs> okay, collapse it. Bring it up to half screen. Set yellow in GBC2. This is ridiculous. Okay. Continue. Excellent. Now, get back in the trading hall. Come on! What? Well, I'm on time. Wow, I'm halfway there already. Please enter. Trade the Gyarados back. Hurry.
damn it, come on! <laughs> Yes, trade them. This lag is ridiculous. <laughs> I should probably get myself a new computer, like, actually. Okay, excellent. Now I'm gonna get the Gyarados back in yellow version. Where it will be blue once more, but now it will only know Mimic, nothing else. Excellent. Now I'm gonna want to... Actually, hang on. Let's pull that back up. GB2, reset. Okay, now in yellow I'm going to need to go grab a queue, so I'll be right back with you once I do that, okay? I jumped the gun a little bit, guys. You don't actually need queue for the part that I'm going to show you, for what I'm going to show you right now in this part, part 14. You will need it for part 15. I just need to find a ditto. So, hold on and I will find a ditto and then we'll proceed. Oh, look at that. So now what you're going to want to do is you've got your Gyarados that knows Mimic, okay? Switch in. So Gyarados goes out, it transforms. And now you use Mimic. Aw, oh, poop, I messed up. I forgot Gyarados has to be first. Basically, you need the dough to transform twice. And you'll see why. <sighs> I got a ditto so easily now, it's gonna take me forever. God, darn it. There. Oh, wow, that was easy. Okay, so yes, you use Mimic. Learn Transform. Then it'll use Transform. And you use Transform. And now it'll use Transform. And now... I believe it is right for catching. Actually, hang on. They use trans. I use Mimic. Learn Transform. They use Transform. And I use Transform. Uh, actually, hang on. Let's use an item. Hopefully one that won't work. Okay. Need now use transform again. Okay, good. Now, what you're gonna want to do is catch it. Where are my master balls? If I've done this correctly, it's basically the ditto has transformed twice in a row, which is why you need mimic. I believe I've done this correctly. Hopefully I have. Because if I did, you'll see some pretty epic stuff. So now, um, let's go up here. Those PC with draw. Where's the? Oh, I have the ditto. Excellent. Okay. Okay. Now it's time to initiate the trade here. Excellent. Go inside. You turn left. Oh my god, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Now you go up here. Okay, please wait. Now, I 
trade Ditto. Well, actually, hang on. Um, let's take a look and see if it worked. With silver version, I'm gonna click on Ditto. It did! Take a look at that, everybody. It's a shiny Ditto. And basically what we did is because we had to transform twice on a shiny Gyarados. So it inherited the shininess. You can make as many of these as you'd like. Now we're just going to trade that over. Um, trade. And try to trade four. Uh, Spiro. Okay. Uh, yes, okay. So now we're going to trade over the Ditto. See, it, it's not shiny on yellow version, obviously, because on yellow version you can't tell. And it's shiny on silver. Now, you guys might be thinking right about now, he got a shiny Ditto. Did he get it legitimately? Yes, I did get a shiny Ditto on gold. And you guys might be thinking whether or not I got it legitimately or not. And because I chose to show you this glitch, I have absolutely no way of proving myself anymore. You guys will have to believe whatever you want. Um, I cannot, I can't prove myself to you. It's not possible. I will maintain that I got it legitimately, because I did. There's no way for me to prove that I didn't just do this. I actually had two shiny dittos, one legitimately and one I did this. But you can use this shiny ditto to then make any Pokemon shiny that you'd like at all. And I will show you guys how to do that in just a sec. But you're going to have to wait until part 15 because part 14 is getting a little bit too long. So yes, that's how you find shiny dittos very easily. And next part, I'll show you guys the, this was not the part that I invented. I invented the part that will let you use the shiny ditto to get any shiny at all. So I'll show you guys that in part 15. Hate to keep you waiting, but okay. So yes, shiny ditto everybody. Uh, I think that just about wraps it up. Thanks for watching, and see you guys.